a stepwise approach for invasive mediastinal staging using the EBUS scope. Training in flexible bronchoscopy varies among institutions, resulting in a wide variation in technical proficiency. EBUS TBNA training in particular remains challenging. Many pulmonologists train on their own without competency assessment. The ACCP has published guidelines on the number of procedures to be performed to achieve competence. While we agree that a minimum number of EBUS TBNA procedures should be required, it does not reflect whether the physician is mastering mediastinal lymph node station navigation. We refer to the International Association for the Study of Lung Cancer MAP to outline lymph node stations. Evaluation of mediastinal lymph nodes is essential for comprehensive staging. The hilar and interlobar lymph nodes are assessed mainly for diagnosis and radiation target planning. In this video, we will examine station 2, 4, 7, 10, and 11. The survey begins on the opposite side of the tumor, starting with the most distant lymph node station. Once in the airways, we encourage the slow in and out motion to position the scope at the desired location, then slow clockwise or counterclockwise rotation for changing the view. Here we are starting our survey at station 11L. Station 11L refers to lymph nodes located between the left upper lobe and the left lower lobe. The EBUS scope is in the proximal part of the left lower lobe bronchus at the level of LC2. The transducer is oriented laterally toward the left. The scope is then slowly pulled out while flexing until it pops into the left upper lobe bronchus. The EBUS scope is gently advanced into the left upper lobe bronchus with the transducer turned toward the 11 o'clock position. This is station 10L. The upper border is the upper margin of the left main pulmonary artery. The lower border is the interlobar region. Here, the bronchoscope is being retracted back into the distal left main stem bronchus in order to examine the remainder of station 10L and to identify the left pulmonary artery. With the EBUS scope retracted at the proximal left main bronchus, with the transducer turned to the left lateral wall, station 4L lymph nodes can be seen between the pulmonary artery and the aorta. Station 4L includes nodes to the left of the left lateral wall of the trachea. The upper border is the upper margin of the aortic arch. The lower border is the upper margin of the left main pulmonary artery. Keeping the same view with the transducer oriented toward the 9 o'clock position, continue to pull up the bronchoscope following the aorta. Station 2L is seen just above the aortic arch at the level of the 4th and 5th tracheal ring. The left upper paratracheal lymph nodes extend from the left lateral wall of the trachea. The upper border is the apex of the left lung in pleural space. The lower border is the superior border of the aortic arch. At this level, while rotating the scope clockwise, you can appreciate the left subclavian artery emanating from the aortic arch. And as you continue rotating the scope, you might be able to see the common carotid artery followed by the brachiocephalic trunk. In the CT image, the brachiocephalic vein is seen branching off the superior vena cava. Station 2R extends to the left lateral wall of the trachea. The upper border is the apex of the right lung and pleural space. The lower border is the intersection of the caudal margin of the innominate vein with the trachea. Station 4R includes the right lower paratracheal nodes and the pretracheal nodes extending to the left lateral wall of the trachea. The upper border is the intersection of the caudal margin of the innominate vein with the trachea. The lower border is the lower margin of the azygous vein. The easiest way to identify Station 4R is to look for the azygous vein. The scope is positioned into the right upper lobe bronchus, then while maintaining the transducer turned toward the 3 o'clock position, the scope is retracted from the right main stem bronchus to the distal trachea. We can see the azygous veins terminating in the SVC when turning the scope counterclockwise. Station 10R refers to lymph nodes located along the right main stem bronchus. The upper border is the lower rim of the azygous vein on the right. The lower border is the interlobar region. The lower border of station 4R and the upper border of station 10R are defined by the lower rim of the azygous vein. To visualize station 7, the EBUS scope is positioned either at the proximal right or left main stem bronchus with the transducer oriented medially. Here the EBUS scope is positioned at the proximal right main bronchus. Station 7 extends from below the main carina to the upper border of the lower lobe bronchus on the left and to the lower border of the bronchus intermedius on the right. Station 11R superior is located between the right upper lobe bronchus and the bronchus intermedius. The scope is positioned at the level of RC1 just below the right upper lobe bronchus. Station 11R inferior is located between the right middle lobe and the right lower lobe bronchi. The EBUS scope is positioned in the proximal right lower lobe bronchus with the transducer oriented toward the right lateral wall.